Hi friends, welcome to my class. Textile for everyone. Friends, as you are already aware that in this channel, we are dealing in those subjects or topics which are practically useful for the persons in their professional life as well as in their daily life. Now, as we have seen that to weave or knit a fabric, we require yarns and thus the making of yarn is almost as old as that of fabric. Now yarn are composed of textile fibers. American Society of Testing Material, Textile Testing Material, they define the yarn as a continuous strand of fibers, filaments or material in the form which is suitable for knitting, weaving or otherwise interlacing to form a textile fabric. Yarn consists of following forms. One is a number of fibers twisted together or here we are having a yarn, small piece of yarn in which if you observe, if you untwist it, then you will find it is consist of fibers. And when we untwist, then it is broken. Then another is a number of filament. Here you will observe the yarn which is having number of filaments linked together without twist. Now in this case another form is that a number of filaments laid together with slight twist and another way of making yarn is a single filament. Now how to identify the spun yarn with respect to filament yarn. So friends as in the board I have already drawn that these are the twisted A is the spun yarn and B is the filament yarn. So when we untwist then the fibers they are separated and the yarn is broken which is shown here. But in the case of filament, if we untwist, then the filaments are separated. So, this is an easy way to identify the particular fabrics having spun yarn or the fila filament yarn. Now, filament yarn are composed of continuous strand of fibers which may be miles long. While these are produced directly from spinnet or for, from a silk cocoon. Since filament yarns, unlike spun yarns, contain fibers of infinite length, they do not need to be highly twisted. Most filament yarns are of low twist, enough to hold the fibers together and provide a 
smooth, lustrous surface. Filament can, however, may be tightly twisted to produce special effects such as cray. Now, additional information about this particular is that man made filament cans are made and marketed by chemical fiber producers JK Reliance Nagda that is viscous rayon sponge yarns are made by yarns spinning mill which are either engaged exclusively in the yarn spinning or are a branch or a department of a weaving mill or vertically integrated textile producing companies. Spun yarn composed of longer fibers will be stronger, more uniform and more lustrous than similar spun yarns made from shorter fibers. Long staple cotton, for example, is cotton fiber of longer than average length and command premium prices. Filament yarn are composed only of man-made fibers or natural fiber like silk. Spun yarns, however, consist of both natural or man-made fibers. In this case, as the filaments are extruded from spindlet, they are chopped into the short fiber length and later processed into spun yarn. And they are called spun nylon, spun rayon, or whatsoever the generic fiber condition. Now, this is again, I am showing you, these are the filaments. While I am untwisting, there is no effect, they are not broken. But as we have seen in the cotton yarn, as soon as I untwist, so this is the basic difference between the spun yarn and the filament yarn. So friends, I hope that you like this particular session. Thanks for watching my video.